ओके सो लेट्स गो हेड विथ क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी एंड लेटर फ्रॉम सेट रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन एडिशनल क्वेश्चन बैंक ओके नाउ दिस पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन बैंक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दीज क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ड ऑन वेन डायग्राम ओके एंड सच क्वेश्चन माइट टेक सम टाइम टू सॉल्व ओके सो यू हैव टू डू इट केयरफुल इट दे माइट बी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ सिक्सटी सिक्सटी इज एन ईजी वन आउट ऑफ अ टोटल पॉपुलेशन ऑफ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओनली ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड रीड टेलीग्राफ एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड रीड टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया वाई फोर थाउजेंड रीड बोथ How many do not read any paper? Now, one way to do this is using using union and intersection. But another way is using Venn diagrams, which is what we'll do because that is easier. Okay. So there are two sets here: Telegraph and Times of India. Let's see what is given. Out of total population of fifty thousand. Hmm? So let's give it. Uh, let's call it some letters. Maybe W X Y Z. Hmm? Okay. So total is fifty thousand. Only twenty eight thousand read Telegraph. Telegraph that means this circle. So x plus y is twenty eight thousand, right? Then twenty uh, three thousand read Times of India. That means y plus z this circle is twenty three thousand, hmm? and four thousand read both. That means this common part is four thousand, right? So now if y is four thousand, that means z will be twenty three minus four thousand. That is nineteen thousand. And since y is four thousand, this x will be twenty eight minus four thousand. That is twenty four thousand. Hmm? And we know that total of all is fifty thousand. So from fifty thousand, if we deduct this, this, and this, then we'll get number of people who do not read any paper. Do not read any paper means what? Out of both of the circles. That is this W part, part which is outside here. Okay. So it is fifty minus twenty four thousand minus four thousand. Minus nineteen thousand. Check how much it is. Just a second. Let me get calculator. Hmm. So it is fifty minus twenty four minus four minus nineteen. So three thousand is the correct answer for that. Hmm. Option A. Got it. Now sixty one, sixty two, and sixty three are related. Now Venn diagram in this case is a bit complicated. But what we can do is For some part we'll use union intersection and for remaining part we'll use Venn diagram. Let's understand how. Out of 2,000 staff, a uh, 48% preferred coffee, 54% tea, and 64% coke. Of the total, 28% used coffee and tea. And means intersection. Okay. So we have coffee as 48. Okay. If we draw the diagram here, as maybe coffee. T and coco, coffee. T and coco. Hmm. Let's call this coffee. T and coco. Forty-eight percent preferred coffee. That means this entire circle of coffee is forty-eight percent. Let me give it some names. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. So that entire circle of coffee. Is 48% A E D G. Let's write it later. 54% T, 64% Coco. So T is 54. Uh, Coco is 64. Fine. Of total, 28% used coffee and tea. Coffee and tea means coffee intersection T is 28. Then uh, T and Coco is 32%. So T intersection Coco is 32. And 30% coffee and cocoa. I'm calling coffee as C and cocoa as CO. Okay, so that is 30%. Only 6% did none of these. None of these means outside everything. That means this H is six, right? This outside part is six. That means the remaining part must be 94% because the total is 100%, right? If that H is six, that means remaining part, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, must be 94%. And you know that so total of all those circles A to G will be nothing but coffee union T union cocoa, right? Because this everything together means coffee also T also cocoa also and combinations also that means their union. So n of union is given to us as 94. And what is asked? Find the number having all the three. All the three that means this common area, right? That G. That is nothing but intersection of all three. 
so you want coffee intersection t intersection coco now this is very easy because we have direct formula for this right what is direct formula for union a union b union c is n of a which is 48 plus n of b which is 54 plus n of c which is 64 minus their individual intersections 28 32 and 30 so minus 28 minus 32 minus 30 and plus their intersection so n of coffee intersection t intersection coco so we can rearrange all this to get this part hmm. let's find it 94 is equal to 48 plus 54 plus 64 minus 28 minus 32 minus 30 which gives us 76 plus this c intersection t intersection coco hmm. that means that intersection part is 94 minus 76 which is 18 okay if we have that that means we know this common part is 18 right that means we know this right that means we know that this common part are just a second okay fine this common part is 18 right now if that is 18 then it is easier to find everything else now why because see coffee intersection t was 28 coffee intersection c t means their intersection that is 28 out of that this g part was 18 that means this remaining part will be 28 minus 18 that is 10 hmm. similarly t intersection coco was 32 so t and coco its intersection that is this part was 32 out of that we already have middle part as 18 so remaining part is 32 minus 18 that is 14 so this is 14 similarly this was 30 that means this will be 30 minus 18 that is 12 we can get a b c values also now because coffee total is 48 out of that we already have this 10 18 and 12 so let's deduct that from 48 so 48 minus 10 minus 18 minus 12 that gives us 8 hmm. similarly t is 54 out of that we already have 10 18 and 14 so let's deduct that 54 minus 10 minus 18 minus 14 that gives us 12 and for coco it is 64 minus 12 minus 18 minus 14 that is 20 now we have all the data okay this 61 is already answered number having all the three is what 18 percent 18 is not the final answer 18 percent of 2000 is the final answer because there are 2000 people in total what is 2000 into 18 percent 360 right 360 hmm. but we can answer these these two easily now as per question 61 with same order of options find the number having tea and cocoa but not coffee Okay, now in set terminology, this means T and cocoa and not coffee, that is C dash. Okay, but don't go into sets, this will become very complicated, right? Instead, what we'll do is T and cocoa but not coffee. So, common in T and cocoa but not in coffee. If you observe, it is this part, right? It is common in T and cocoa but it is not in coffee, 14, right? So, answer will be 2000 into 14%, which is 280 option B. Hmm. Similarly, this next one is number having only coffee. This is easy. Only coffee is again in terms of set. How can we write it? Coffee and not tea and not cocoa. Cocoa. Hmm. But we'll not do that. Only coffee is just this part, right? Only coffee part, which is eight. So two thousand into eight percent is how much? One sixty. So one sixty will be the. Okay. So let's go to sixty four now. Sixty four is a, a different, like a bit complicated question because we cannot directly apply formula of uh, union or intersection we have to do something we have to draw the diagram and then we can apply the formula so let's check complaints about works canteen had been about mess m f and s total complaints 173 were received as follows hmm. they have given some data m is 110 f is 55 s is 67 and so on and they have they are given uh, they have given this intersection uh, m f and s dash then m s and f dash and so on maybe it will be better if you write it in diagram because it, this is complicated to understand so let's draw a diagram mess food service okay there's nothing outside total is 173 we know that let's try to write this data first 
because this is something a uh, small part of the diagram right meal the sorry mess and food and not service okay mess and food and not service means what it should be common in mess and food but not in service that means this area right it is common in mess and food but not in service so we can write it there how much is it 20 so this is given as 20 fine uh, then mess and service but not food that is 11 that means this is 11 and mess uh, food and service but not mess is 16 that means this part is 16 okay now we want see determine complaints about all three all three means what we want this common area hmm? intersection we need intersection that means maybe we can do something with formula of this m sorry n of m union f union s because we have that right we have that as 173 how much will that be okay n of m n of mess that is already given to us n of mess is 110 fine so 110 plus n of food that is also given to us as 55 so plus 55 plus n of service that is also given to us as 67 so plus 67 hmm. minus now this is important minus what do we do n of m intersection f okay so m intersection f is this part which is 20 plus something we don't know what that is right so 20 plus let's call it x so 20 plus x minus f intersection s is this part which is 16 plus x fine minus m intersection s is this part which is 11 plus x so fine and plus n of m intersection f intersection s that is intersection of all of them which is x right this common part okay now we can solve it for x because that will be 173 is equal to let me write in this color 110 plus 55 plus 67 how much is that 232 minus 20 minus 16 minus 11 that is minus 20 minus 16 minus 11 minus 47 and then minus x because this will be minus minus x minus x so that is minus 3x plus x hmm. 232 minus 47 is 185 minus 3x plus x is minus 2x so let's take 2x to this side that will be 185 minus 173 which is 12 so x will be 6 so this common part is 6 so answer to this is done complaints about all three are 6 common hmm. 65 is also dependent on that as per question 64 with same order of options determine complaints about two or more than two two or more than two okay now because of this question we don't even need to find this part okay because two or more than two means what either about mess and food but not service or about mess and service or about food and service or about all three mess and food and service right because they're saying two any two or more than two all three right now we have all of this m and f is what 20 m and s is what 11 f and s is what 16 and this common part we just found out as 6 so total will be 20 plus 11 plus 16 plus 6 that will be the answer 20 11 16 6 53 should be the correct answer option b okay for this option b got it fine if yes let's end it here for this video okay we'll go to the next one in next video from question 66 and onwards okay so bye everyone